Number 12, what is the intensity in watts per meter squared of 85 decibels sound? All right, so when we're talking about now sound intensity and stuff, we have a formula over here on the right-hand side. It tells us that beta, which by the way is measured in decibels, okay, dB, is going to be equal to 10 multiplied now by the log, base 10, of the intensity that we're hearing Okay, or the intensity that's being produced by a certain sound, so I'll write I sub S, divided by then the threshold of hearing, I sub O. Now I sub O is a constant, so basically you can reformulate this formula, and I'm probably going to do that in problems ahead of time, uh, you know, in the future. Um, so this, I'm just going to rewrite this as 10 times log, I'm going to leave out the base 10, just know that it's base 10. I mean, if, if it's left out, it can be assumed that it's base 10. If I started talking about LN, then it would be base of E. Right? So this is going to be the intensity divided by just I sub O, which is 10 to the minus 12th. Okay? This is, by the way, for uh, human hearing. Now, it might be different for other animals, and their threshold might be a little uh, different, but uh, we can definitely make these assumptions. So what I now, all I need to do basically is, is solve this for the intensity I. All right? How do we do that? Well, first thing is, let me plug in my beta value. All right, my beta value is going to be 85. Okay, and I can already see that if I put a little bracket here, then I can divide out the 10 basically from that side, right? So this is 85 over 10, and that's going to be now equal to the log of i over 10 to the minus 12. All right, so why don't you just simply do this? So this becomes, simplify this a little bit, this becomes 8.5 is then equal to the log of i over 10 to the minus 12th. Now, what you have to do to get rid of the log, all right? And this is where the base is important, but again, if it's not written in, just assume in your, and it says L-O-G, log, not natural log, L-N. Um, all you have to simply do is then raise both sides up to whatever base value you're talking about, okay? In this problem, it's base 10, and most of them should be the same thing unless you're dealing with natural log. So what I then need to do, basically, is take 10, okay? And I'm going to raise then... Uh, each side up as the exponent. So this becomes 10 raised to the 8.5. That will equal then 10 raised to the log of i over 10 to the minus 12th. Now I know you're like, what the, what in the world? All you have to know is this, that the 10, base 10 cancels the log and this thing now comes back down. So basically we have an equation now that says this, 10 raised to the 8.5 so the eight and a half power is equal to then i over 10 to the minus 12. And notice this is now a nice little equation, right? I mean, this is like over one. If you wanna just find i, all you have to do is just simply cross multiply these two values, all right? So the intensity here is now going to be equal to 10 raised to the 8.5 multiplied by 10 raised to the negative 12, all right? And you can add them together if you need, right? You know that you can, Essentially, so the, the value here comes out to be, if you want it in terms of a, a decimal, it's going to be 3.16 times 10 to the minus fourth. And that is in watts per meter squared. Those are the standard units for intensity. All right. Um, if you needed it in, you know, exponential form or with the power, you know that when you multiply this like bases, all you have to do is simply add the exponents. So when you take 10, 8.5, the 8.5th power, and you multiply it by 10 raised to the negative 12th, right? You can simply just add these two together, all right? And then you can arrive at your answer. So this would be essentially 10 raised to the negative 3.5. That could be the answer too. And if you like, plug that into the calculator, 10 raised to the negative 3.5, and tell me what you get. Oh my goodness, it's exactly the same, right? So always a good, you know, just a little, uh, not sure if you've done exponents in a while, but it's definitely good to keep them in mind and how to calculate with them. Guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe very much, and I thank you very much. Have a great day. Much.